Hello everyone, Xenozima here. Well, actually I should be saying welcome my sparks. Welcome my sparks to Let's Play Astral Chain. Oh, a lot happened last episode. Oh, a lot, a lot happened. Okay, Acura's heartbeat is stable. Looks like the worst is over. But to be completely honest, it's a miracle they made it out in the first place. Thanks to Dr. Calvert, he's a miracle worker. I can't take all the credit. Our Akira is quite special. There is still a chance of infection. Run another check and make sure there's no sign of mutation. Brenda, we can take it from here. Go back to HQ and let everyone know Akira is safe. But, Doctor... Brenda, please. I'll be here to make sure everything goes smoothly. And either way, I have more than enough work to keep me busy around here for quite some time. Thank you. I see. Very well. I'll see you at the station, Doctor. Oh boy, oh lord. I remember this one's in the... Brinda and the commander are both on it. Akira literally couldn't be in better hands. Brinda gives even the commander a run for his money when it comes to all that science stuff. And what happened to Akira wasn't your fault. Jenna was more powerful than anyone could have expected. Trust me, even the commander didn't see it coming. Akira did what she did because it's her duty as a neuron officer to protect you, no matter what. But duty is one thing. To go that far for you, Akira must really have wanted to keep you safe. You've both been through so much, and Akira's taken it harder than you have. But putting her brother first? I guess that's sisterly love. Huh. Having someone you do anything to protect like that must... Oh, never. That's right. We <clears throat> got a report back from the high-tech forensics department. That huge thing you fought at the mall? Apparently, it wasn't a chimera at all. They've never seen anything that wasn't a chimera spread data corruption like that. They're all completely stumped. <sighs> well, if they figure anything out, you'll know about it as soon as I do. Beyond that, we're putting all our effort into finding out where Jenna went. She completely vanished 20 years ago, and now she's back. And with that thing in tow, not even the commander has any clue what she's after. And that's a rarity for him. <sighs> As if your hands weren't full enough with the chimeras, right? Jenna's not going to make things any easier. Brenda! Ah, uh, I'm glad I found you two. I just got back from the lab. She's going to be fine. Akira is shockingly resilient, really. Akira's still under anesthesia, but why don't you go pay a visit? The facility is usually off limits to outside personnel, but this time, I think we can make an exception. Take your time and collect yourself. Find me in the infirmary when you're ready. Brenda, thank you. Well, that's a load off my mind. I've got to get back to work. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Yeah, we'll check on you later. Okay. Well, let's get up. First. We should run over here and quickly switch uh, equipment. 
Not accessories. Marie's glasses, because I like them more. Uh, I don't believe we've got any new jacket. Yeah. Just dress uniform. Okay. And... Oh yeah, it's this one. We'll do this one before we go over Keeping up leader. the good work, I see. Ah, there's something we need to talk about. Can you spare me an ear? Preferably two. Sure, what is so, it? So, uh... I have to confess. Oh, um, before that... Oh, wow! It's a perfect fit! And it really suits you. <laughs> oh, isn't it great? It's like I'm looking at the real Lappy! Oh, um... <laughs> speaking of... Uh, okay. Okay. Right. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Lappy. He's been me. I am Lappy. There it is. I, uh, I, I'm sorry. I know. I should have told you earlier. You know, uh... <laughs> You are handling this a lot better than I expected. I thought you were gonna freak out, uh, you know. Oh, it can't be! How could you, Marie? I never knew the difference, uh... Nothing? Huh. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> well, before I came to Neuron, I was a traffic officer. That's how I became Lappy. I'd put on that suit and walk around, and everyone would smile at me! Oh, best feeling ever! And everyone here always looks so tired, you know? So, well, I figured a visit from Lappy would get them smiling again. It, it, it went so well the first time, so I just kept doing it, and... Now look, Lappy's a part of the Neuron family. Which brings me to our problem. Last week, I put the suit on, fell flat on my face, and twisted my ankle. I know. And now Brenda says to give Lappy a rest. Huh. Huh, I wonder how Brenda figured out it was me. Uh, uh, anyway. I can't be Lappy again until my stupid leg is healed up. Meanwhile, Neuron gets gloomier and gloomier. And at this rate, the whole office will be plunged into endless darkness. We cannot let that happen. And so, in the meantime, I want you to be Lappy in my place. It is the perfect plan nobody knows it's me in there just wear it and just just talk to anyone who could use a friendly smile i'm sure they're going to love you okay don't worry just just think of all the good you'll be doing mm. yes okay I, I'm, I'm getting gloomy vibes from all around the station First of all, hmm, yes, the B2 elevators. There's gotta be people in need of a Lappy-sized pick-me-up. What are you waiting for? Go turn those frowns around so there's smiles instead. And yes, we get traverse. <laughs> this is them stupid. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> I 
that does have some things. Oh, but... Murray, I mean, I'm kind of going through some stuff right now. Oh, right, this is the guy. Please just let me. Through some stuff. Okay, we'll come back to you. Uh, before that, actually, we'll quickly do something. Let's quickly do this. troubling me. Well, I don't know if talking about it'll help, but sure. You know, I really love animals, especially cats. But protecting cats from redshift isn't part of the job, so I can't get clearance to do it. I gotta do something about it, but I don't want to get the sack. But then I imagine all the poor cats out there, sick and scared in some alley. It keeps me awake at night. Place where cats can stay safe? Wow, I had no idea there was somewhere like that out in Mason Forest. You've got to take me sometime. Huh. If too many people go to see it, it'll attract too much attention. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But it's a load off my mind just knowing it's out there. Hey, Marie, I mean, hey, Lappy, thanks a lot for listening. Ding -ding. I heard everything. Oh, that's one more smile we'll see around the station today. On to the next troubled soul. They're in the infirmary on level B2. This'll be the happiest place on the arc in no time. Oh, Marie, I mean. Sorry, Lappy. I'm kind of... Uh, are you um, trying to cheer me up? I appreciate the thought. In fact, it's my partner Avery I'm all wound up about. Avery is really energetic, which is great. But, um, well, just look at me. Not so much. I can't jump back into action right away, you know, after a mission. Hell, I get winded just standing up for a long time. To be honest, sometimes I'm not even sure why they chose me for Neuron. But Avery won't hear any of it. I, I really can't keep going on like this. I've tried to tell her, but come on, you know her. I literally can't get a word in edgewise. <sighs> There's no way I'll ever keep up with her. Please, Marie, I mean, Lappy. Would you please tell Avery for me? I mean, don't tell her, tell her, but, you know, indirectly. She's probably in the break room. And thanks for doing what I can't. Hey, Lappy! What's up? Taking a breather? Let me guess, you're here for an energy drink? Something like that? Wow, I bet it's exhausting to wear that thing all day. I... I mean, uh... Your little hat! Wearing your little hat all day must be exhausting, Lappy. <sighs> but, but forget it. 
<laughs> You're thirsty, yeah? Well, today I recommend a nice alkali coca. One sip and you will literally burst with energy like boom, 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 bam! <laughs> I've had three. Woo! Come on, try one and see! Oh, you didn't come here for a drink, did you? Wait, what's that boy? There's a neuron officer lacking self-confidence. Says he can't keep up with me? Oh, you're talking about Mitsuru, aren't you? Yeah, he's been even gloomier than usual since we got back from Ark Mall. Of course I noticed. But, you know, bending over backwards so he can keep up won't do us any good either. And if anything, I've been overdoing it, hoping some of my energy would rub off. <sighs> I guess I've been pretty hard on him. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry to get kind of dark there. I get wound up pretty easily. I'll try to pace myself so I won't push Mitsuru too hard. It's an alkali coca. Hopefully it'll cheer Mitsuru up. Hi, Murray. Dang it. I mean, hi, Lappy. So, what'd she say? What's this? Alkali Coco? Oh, so Avery was just trying to motivate me by acting so wild all the time, huh? I never noticed that she even cared. And here I am just moping around alone. That settles it! I've got to get stronger! I won't drag Avery down anymore! But first, I need to apologize to her for the misunderstanding. In person. You know, I feel a little braver already. Thanks to you, Mer- Oof, Lappy! Oh, we're so close. <laughs> Excellent job! Oh, Mitsuru and Avery? Now that's a twofer. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think there really is a real Lappy. Okay, there's just one more officer in need of some Lappy time. They're in the training room on level B3. Now, go spread some cheer. And it isn't who people are probably thinking of, though I think it's hilarious. Uh, but first, let's go to the heliport. Mainly because we can talk to people here, and they actually have dialogue or talk to Lappy, I'm quite sure. But I'm quite sure there's at least people. There they are. I would actually be kind of livable, I won't lie. Each department having their own happy. Okay, so I can't talk to them. That's okay. Oh, wait. Nope. Can't talk to them here. So let's go down to the garage before going to the training room. <laughs> You're not exactly combat proof. That's gonna be gratifying. Now there's some people don't know. And 
Yes, it's Jin. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, it's you, Marie. Uh, oh, uh, right, Flappy. Yeah, I, I don't see you down here much. Look, I'm in the middle of training. Whatever it is, could you save it? Hey, no. uh, I, I told you I'm training. Could you please come back later? <laughs> Just being past. Oh, what is it? You are extra persistent today. Uh, you want to know why I'm down here training so hard? What's it to you? Uh, all right, look. The truth is, I need to get stronger. Akira's still unconscious after what went down at the mall. With the captain gone, that's on me. Max isn't here anymore. Well, that means while we're on the job, his kids are my responsibility. I promised him I'd take care of them. Now, I don't know if I'm strong enough to keep that promise. But now, he's gone. I'm not any stronger. I couldn't even catch up to Jenna in the first place. Akira could, and look what I let happen. I couldn't face Max if he came back. Not like this. So, I'll do anything to get stronger. And fast. I have to keep everybody safe. I can't let him down. I know I don't have the experience or the skill that he had. I figure maybe I can make up for it with sheer effort. <laughs> Wait, what? what's that? What? You're saying you want to spar? <laughs> well, thanks for the laugh. No, no, but seriously, you, you've never lifted an ex-baton in your life, right? Oh. Dance. Hm. Yeah, I see. You're serious about this. <laughs> oh, okay then. But I'm warning you, I don't hold back. Not even in practice. Come on, show me what you've got. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh. <laughs> Even with that thing on, you're pretty tough. You know, I haven't had a thrashing like that since the last time I sparred with the captain. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I do feel a little better. Well, I gotta say, this has been an eye-opening training session, Lappy. Thanks. I, I really mean it. I can do usually better. <laughs> I can actually beat him. Sounds like Neuron HQ is officially trouble free. Now, head on back here. And we no longer get the left to see. Fantastic suit. work. Oh, top notch cheering up. Really, even I could probably learn a thing or two about being lappy from you. <laughs> probably. Thank you so much. Oh, me? Well, I'm resting real hard to make sure my leg heals up soon, so don't you worry. Oh, wow, you're really motivated. But if you get too good at my job, where does that leave me? Uh, oh, never mind. I definitely wasn't just imagining you as my bitterest, most heinous rival or anything like that. <laughs> Oh, I got so wrapped up in spreading cheer that I forgot about all those case reports I need to alphabetize. Ugh. See you. I feel that. I feel that. Oh. Butler's head. Down four. Training. 
first to quickly check if our RX baton can actually switch mode. We can gain an upgrade, not switch modes. I guess we can get an upgrade. We're gonna, get, we're gonna be able to do much more damage. And to start using premium codes annoyingly. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, no, we don't have that one. No! Time to talk about our legions. Our newest legion to the bunch. The only legion, so... Next we'll bind chain. We want this. Technically we'll need a lot more. Power charge, round bullet. Don't believe any of these are actually worth it. The one we want is gravity shot. And since we don't have having gene codes, there's not much point. We will get to the rest of them another time. Well, let's just... Iris, start Iris. Shut down. Do a bit of the training Do terminal. The training. Sparring practice. Human Okay, Park. Start the program. Now the Orb Legion is easy to grab small foes, but uh, its combos are not really good in my opinion. It's all like the same type of ass. Training menu. 
quit training. Finished with and that's pretty much Iris. it. Shut down. Now let's go check on everyone, anything else. Quite sure there is nothing on the ground floor. Iris, start up. Iris, shut down. Oh wait, uh, might as well we check this out. See Akira. That's fine. All right, let's go. I'll sell the stuff when we have the materials we need. I'll rather wait until we get a few more premiums. with me I'm not sure how much you've been told so allow me to explain this is the Aegis Research Institute a testament to Dr. Calvert's lifetime of achievement and birthplace of the legions Dr. Calvert has gathered the finest minds the Ark has to offer to, to study the astral plane and work towards our future the data you collect by defeating chimeras goes directly towards their research and we're so slow, which is the reason why I put it in this episode. Uh, no there isn't. There's something here later, as we come back here. But, yeah, we'll, we'll have to slowly walk, annoyingly. Can we run here? Ugh, I hate this. <laughs> Love this game, go on, this Please, is slow. step inside. Each floor is dedicated to a different research field. This floor is where the red matter specialists work. There's nowhere on the Ark better equipped to treat red-shifting civilians or officers injured by aberrations. You'll need special permission to go beyond this point. Wait here. Make yourself at home here. Just be sure not to step outside. Executing welcome. You're not just cancel. You've been approved. This way. Okay, I've been approved. Ah, you'll need this. With this pass, you'll be able to access most of the floor. Don't drop it, okay? You'll be glad to know Akira is surrounded by the most advanced medical technology in human history. Shall we? These rooms are reserved for victims of redshift and chimera attacks. Akira is in one of them right now. I must say, I wish I were back here under happier circumstances. Ah, right. I used to work in this branch myself.
back before Dr. Calvert brought me to Neuron. Before I even knew what a Legion was. <sighs> I was right here, checking charts and pushing gurneys. Every day brought a new batch of the hurt and the hopeless. Eventually I realized I had to do something more to stop all that pain. Truly stop it, not just patch it up. Now, I'm proud to be working with you and Dr. Calvert to fight for humankind's future. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go on and on about myself like that. I didn't bore you too much, did I? Here we are. Things didn't look good at first. But thanks to Commander Calvert, or I should say, Dr. Calvert's astute diagnosis, Akira's nearly good as new. So don't worry. At this rate, Akira will be back in the field with you before you know it. Nothing to worry about in terms of redshift, either. Just between us? She's not quite as tough as you are, but there's no doubt she's your sister. But even then, to have stabilized it all from such a state, I can't even guess what Dr. Calvert must have done. Not to be indelicate, but it may have something to do with the circumstances of your birth. Never mind, just professional curiosity. All you need to know for now is Akira's going to be fine. We've done enough for today. All that's left now is for Akira's body to do its work. I've got some other matters to attend to, but I think you'll be fine on your own. Feel free to take the helicopter back when you're ready. I'll see you back at Neuron. Okay. And we can pretty much do what we want. She doesn't feel like in this guy. Shift. Yes, we're going to be trying to help everyone here, if we can. You can save I know. I'm busy lonely because that's so mean. Okay, that's Madison. Dr. Banford. Banfield. We were talking to him over here, so we know where he is. Accessory. Taking scoot. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> and we'll 
see if we can keep it between us, Brenda. Sure, we can do this one. This one's actually really annoying to do. No, it's not. Find a way to do it open. Okay, right. The lead. to do this with. Nope. It's actually the arm. Emergency. There's been an explosion at the Harmony Square subway station, and you've been handpicked to check it out. Alicia's there now. She thinks a Chimera is responsible, which means you and the Legion are up. She said it's got a few things in common with our previous case, too. Anyway, get there as soon as you can. There's a helicopter ready to move when you... Yes, I know. But... Okay, first of all... Oh. Someone, please, stop that patient! can get into this room but I don't know how I don't remember how. Because there's technically a patient there we can actually blue shift. I I do remember getting in there at some point, but I don't remember how. Useful I believe it's the last I can get it. Get it. For long, I actually had a blue shirt. A red shirt. With the blue shirt. Apparently, no. Apparently, no. So here, because being real, we're going to be going into the actual meat and potatoes of this ch chapter straight when we exit uh, this room. So I'll see you guys then for that. Nice box. Xeno and Zuma signing out.